Again, a battle took place on the right hand side just up through the pass here and it was all to do with a bunch of people called the Jacobites. Now, um, Mary Queen of Scots' son, right, Scotland's one only queen, she had a son who became King James VI of Scotland and long story short, when uh, England, English Queen Elizabeth I died, she had no kids. So he became King of England as well as Scotland, right? It's known as the Union of the Crowns in 1603. So King James VI of Scotland also became King James I of England, right? Scottish King on the English throne, get it up you. After that, you've got James VII, then Charles, sorry, Charles I, Charles II, then James VII. All Scottish descended kings, right? Now, these guys have got themselves into more and more hot water. And the problem essentially was this, that in past times, right, kings were, well, they believed they were decreed king by God on high and they were answerable to nobody but him. However, parliament gets, got stronger, right? And in the past, whereas uh, kings could just do what they wanted in terms of waging war or taxes, um, they had to go to parliament and basically ask permission, right? And all the kings were really pissed off about this. Charles I, he became really unpopular. Um, initially, he started, he started imposing unfair taxes on port towns and then blanket taxes on rich landowners. He also became